I don't even remember if I got an alert or if I checked the information, but my half a terabyte MacBook Air had only about 50 gigabytes of remaining disk space. At first, I thought that it was wrong, because although I'm constantly installing new software, recording videos, uh, I do that on a second computer, the one you usually see. That's not my main computer. My main computer has only the, the file, the, the software, and things I use to do my work. Even the videos, I added in a separate uh, external disk. I went into this journey. <laughs> it took me several days. I didn't spend whole days on it, but it took me several days to finalize it. And I just want to share with you everything that I discovered. Maybe you already know that, but maybe not. And I think that that's useful information. So let me show you how I ended up with 170 uh, free gigabytes of disk space. I'm going to show this uh, on Evernote, but I did it on other apps too. It's not something that only Evernote does. And I don't understand why it does it. So if we go to settings, preferences, down here, we have uh, the folder where the library, where all the information we have uh, in Evernote, where it is on our computers. To get there on a Mac, you have to go to the Finder, and then the menu here, there is this Go, hold the Alt key. You have to hold it, otherwise you're not going to see this. If I'm, see, if I'm not holding it, you you need to hold it to see the library. And here, be very, very, very careful. This is important information. Don't delete anything that you don't know what it is. Please do your homework, research online. Don't start deleting things here. That There's a reason why this is hidden. Okay, then if we go to uh, application support, we'll find that Evernote folder. So if I use common I, I now can see the information. So this folder has 1.73 1 gigabytes. My real one, this is my second account, my real one had a little bit over 22 gigabytes. Okay, so let's go back to Evernote for a moment. If I want to delete that and I click here, sign out. There's this option, keep a backup and remove my Evernote data from this device. What I did on my computer was leave my, I had three accounts signed it up there on my main computer. I, re, I, I left the three of them choosing remove my Evernote data from this device. I, I wanted to try it and I wanted to rebuild the database. So when I install Evernote again, I'll it will rebuild the database. And I did this for the three accounts. But something that I don't understand happened. When I came back here, this folder was still here. It didn't have the 22 gigabytes anymore, but it had two gigabytes. Why? So there's something that Evernote is keeping. And like I said, Evernote is not the only one. If we scroll down here, here it is, Microsoft. At some point, I installed Skype on this computer. I installed Teams on this computer for some tasks or to talk to someone. Why is this still here? And if I did, if I do common I here, there we have 61 megabytes. It's not a lot, but if you keep adding this, it's going to be a lot. So. What I did was I deleted all this. Be careful <laughs> the ones that I don't have the app anymore. For some of them, like this weird one here that has just a little bit, 381. I we open Safari here. I can do something like this. Mac OS port and then a b b y y well this is from 
the Apple support community. Let's take a look. What is ABB? I'm not going to read it all again, but the person is saying that this has something to do with uh, OCR app. And it's probably, it's probably true in my case too, because like I said, I'm constantly testing apps. So I also deleted folders like this. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep stressing this. Please don't do this. Just go delete things that you don't know what it is. This is another software I test. I recorded a video, but it's not here anymore. Let's see how, how much space is, it is using. 41 megabytes. Okay, let's delete this. So I did this very carefully. I did this. I, I removed all the, I deleted all the files from old apps that I had uninstalled. But my question remains, why does apps keep all this information here? And in the case of Evernote, it was, oh, there's another one here, Calibri. This was a test I did a long time ago. I don't use this app anymore. So why is Evernote keeping two gigabytes, using two gigabytes after I uninstalled it and asked it to remove all the information? Not only Evernote, all this, all this apps. Okay, this was one thing. Then I moved to Apple Photos. And wow, this, if I'm finding this too much, wait until, <laughs> let me show you. I only use Apple Photos to back up my photos. I use Google Photos, all my pictures are online. But like I explained in this video, I have a system that I use based on a sync thing to keep a copy of my pictures on my computer. But if the pictures were already here, why not just add them to uh, Apple Photos and have fun looking at them there if I need to. And that's what I did. To my surprise, the total space used is double the size of the pictures. Here, let me show you. This is a screenshot I took. So I had this library that I created for a test. This is, I right clicked the photos library on my computer and it says the library had 33.76 gigabytes. And then I exported all the pictures from this library into a folder, iPhoto export. Yeah, I still call it iPhoto because in the past it was called iPhoto. And check this. All the pictures that I had here, they only used 16.82 gigabytes of space on my computer, just as pictures, as JPEGs. I went to Google, uh, to iTunes, uh, Apple, it's not called Apple Music, to make sure uh, the library and everything I had in it was not doing the same thing, was the same was not happening there, and it wasn't. Fortunately, uh, iTunes is still, at least here, Apple Music still keeps the music, the music we have in folders, so it's just the music, and the library is a, a tiny library. So then I deleted all this because this was just a test, and I started exporting all my photos to folders. I understand that there's a lot happening there. There's the map, there's the face recognition, there, there are pictures that we added and iPhotos keep a copy of those pictures. But I, like I said, I don't do that. I was just, a, 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 the pictures were already here. So I, I moved them to iPhotos because, well, it, it was there, but I don't edit pictures. I don't, uh, I don't do anything. I was just looking at the pictures. I was really surprised. So what I did after exporting them was delete all the pictures from Apple Photos. Then I deleted the, the, the library and I tried to delete Apple Photos, but it's not possible. <laughs> Hi, feature me here editing the video. There's another weird detail I forgot to mention. After I deleted all the pictures and uh, emptied the trash, the iPhotos, not iPhotos, uh, Apple Photos library still had 1.85 gigabytes. Why? Why are all these apps 
leaving this trash behind. It's crazy. Okay, back to the video. Talking about this library, the way I found it, because I didn't remember I had this library there, this was uh, an old library, an old photos library, was by uh, filtering the files by size. Here, let me show you how you do it. If you open the finder and type command F, you see this box is here. Now, if we click here, there are some options, but there is no size option. You can click here and look for size, file size, add it to the drop down menu, and now I can select size and then choose is greater than. And for example, let's use, I don't know, 500. And here you can see all the files that are over this limit. So let's try megabytes, I don't know, five megabytes. And there's another thing that you can do if you go to settings, then go to your account, and finally iCloud. You can turn this on. Optimize Mac storage. The full contents of iCloud Drive will be stored on this Mac if you have enough space. Other documents will be stored only in iCloud when space is needed. I have this off on my main computer, but this one here has uh, less space, less disk space, so this is why I, I, I keep this on on this computer here. You already know that I really don't like to use Apple software because they lock us inside that walled garden. And this is a huge lock. If I start using iCloud space, first, I, I, I won't have access to the, the files if I need them any, and if I don't have a uh, internet connection. And second, the moment I start relying on this, wow, <laughs> I'm giving <laughs> all, all the... <laughs> all the keys, everything to Apple to charge me forever. So I'd rather have everything in separate and external hard drives, my photos, my uh, iTunes library. And if that gets out of control, then get involved with this. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> no way. I, I, I see myself, I, I like my freedom. I like that I can use uh, an Android device and a Mac computer, and I can make them work together. It's not that simple, it's not that straightforward, but I, it's possible. And I, I have this plan for the future someday. I would like to use a Linux computer, so I, I want all of them to talk nice to each other. But it's an option. If you are okay with the Apple ecosystem, that's a, an option. Just turn that on and it will manage the space for you. I didn't install Evernote back on my main computer because since uh, the mobile, the, the web client started getting all the, the features that the, 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 the app has, I wanted to try it, to use only the web client for a while and, and see if I can, if it's, if it works for me. I know that I'll miss the common J for sure, but I'll try it. Now, and, and of course I had three accounts there, so that's, not fair. So maybe I'll keep only my account when I install the app again, if, I'll install, if I install the app again, and use the other ones uh, uh, on the web, uh, on the web client. So Evernote, Photos, and a lot of those uh, apps that I removed from the library ended up making my available space more than three times what I had before. Now I have uh, almost 100 gigabytes of images. I have about 18 gigabytes of music. Yes, I, I have a, a library, a uh, music library. So most of the space I'm still using on my computer, on, on my main computer, is pictures and music. If this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider becoming a supporter on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.